Are you working with Go High Level and looking for a payment processing solution? Well, today I'm going to talk to you about the payment gateway options available if you're working with Go High Level. My name is Maria Spragas and I help thousands of seven and eight figure merchants figure out the complex world of payment processing and find reliable solutions to support their businesses. Today, I really want to focus in on Go High Level. Go High Level is a software that a lot of online businesses use, particularly agencies. And, you know, there is some complications in terms of payment processing if you want to use something other than Stripe. Now, Go High Level really promotes the use of Stripe. They have a native integration into Stripe. So that is actually your best option is to work with Stripe if you can. Now, as you know, if you've been following me for a while, Stripe is not necessarily the best suited for most online businesses, especially if you're tagged as high risk or you're selling digital content and you have subscriptions. Stripe can actually be your worst enemy because they do not support high risk businesses. And then if they do, they're very quick at shutting down or suspending your account if anything goes wrong or if you get a couple of disputes and so forth. So you may be wondering, well, I'm on go high level. You know, my whole setup is done there and I really want to use another service other than Stripe. Now, if you're wondering what other options are out there, there are several other options that work with go high level, but they are they are not native integration. What that means is that it works through webhooks and you may need a system like Zapier or Zapier, whatever you call it, uh, to connect to uh, the different payment gateways. Now, if you're listening to this and you're like, I have no idea what a webhook is, what's a zap what's all this stuff don't worry about it go high level does actually have a way that they walk you through it's not that complicated to add it there are gateways supported like authorize.net nmi other service providers like square paypal are also supported on there you just have to take a couple of extra steps now i will warn you that there are some specific features that they only offer with Stripe. Like for example, if you have a SaaS business and you're looking to do subscriptions, if you're not working with Stripe when using Go High Level, you may have some complications. There's a couple of workarounds for this, but I will tell you from experience working with different Go High Level merchants, it ends up being a little bit more complex. And if you're able to use Stripe, then that usually is your best solution. Another thing is if you rely on buy now, pay later type services um, or alternative payment modes, they are only supported through the Stripe gateway. So if you want to accept, you know, Klarna and all these different types of payment modes, you actually have to have an account with Stripe. So you can connect it to your Stripe account, which is then connected to Go High Level. So they really block you um, into using Stripe for a couple of these use cases, but you shouldn't shy away from getting a backup payment processor or a backup solution for your credit card processing. And when you're looking at the solutions, you're like, oh, that's not that many. But NMI and Authorize.net are payment gateways. They're simply softwares that allow you to connect to thousands of different payment processors. Like, for example, my company, Direct Paynet, we can connect to either of these two gateways. It's really a snap. It's very simple. You get a username and a password, and then you go plug it into your Go High Level account, and you're ready to go. So the, these options alone actually open you up to thousands of different payment processing solutions. And I would suggest, regardless of whether you're using Stripe with Go High Level, to always have yourself a backup for your credit card processing, because it is a primary function of your business to be able to accept credit cards. And you cannot rely on a company like Stripe that has very little customer service, very little support for you if things go wrong. So you want to have your backup ready and in place. Now, if you're watching this video and you're wondering, should I work with Go High Level? Is this a good software for my business and so forth? I will tell you, it depends. Now, my personal opinion is, is that when a software really limits you on payment processors or different integrations, it's not my favorite type of solution because I need flexibility in my business. I need to be able to add different solutions or integrate different options in my business to be able to grow, get competitive pricing, you know, offer better services to my clients. And I do feel like Go High Level really kind of pigeonholes you into using Stripe. And as I said, if you've been watching my channel or if you've been burned by Stripe, it is very difficult to get your account back and to get things up and running. So, you know, 
having a native integration only to Stripe to me is not the greatest feature of Bohai level. And, you know, hopefully they will do some native integrations to other payment processors. But your main goal here is when you're looking for a different software for your business is really to figure out, you know, your payment processing first, meaning what type of payment modes do you want to accept? Are they supported easily? And do these payment processors that are natively integrated into your software, would they support your business? So for example, you look at go high level and you're like, hey, you know, yes, I can do buy now, pay later. I can do uh, ACH, I can do all that, but you have to have a Stripe account connected to go high level to be able to accept those. And maybe Stripe doesn't want to log with your business. For example, you're a digital content creator or you're a coach or something like that. And they don't like that type of business. So you need to make sure that your payment processing is taken care of, that you're going to work with a partner that you trust, that you, you feel comfortable with. And then once that's done, then you kind of backtrack into software, the sense of like, now that I know which payment gateway, which payment processor I'm going to work with. Now, let me look at features that I need in my software, you know, affiliate management, um, different accounting features, uh, different campaign features. And then once you do that, you can really go ahead and pick the best software. Now, if you are already with Go High Level, probably since you're watching this video, you know, switching is not the easiest thing. And I know that you have a lot of stuff built in your business around that software. So your best bet is really to try to work with Stripe, try to get all the features that you can with Stripe, for example, for alternative payment modes, um, like ACH, buy now, pay later and so forth, and maybe have them as your primary for your credit card processing, but work on getting a backup because I guarantee you there is nothing worse than getting one of those Stripe shut me down emails uh, or notices. And then your business is really, you know, uh, on a standstill until you figure stuff out. I hope you found this episode helpful. I will link down below some issues that some of my clients have had with Stripe. So if you're watching this, you know, just be forewarned that there could be some issues and to be prepared for it and have yourself a great day.